Hi everyone, this is Shara Turner, Clinical Director at Sabino Recovery. I know there's been a lot of discussion out there about ways to stay connected in this kind of difficult time. And so at Sabino, we decided we we're gonna offer a weekly recovery tip to those of you trying to navigate this kind of ambiguous um, time in your recovery. When we talk about recovery at Sabino, it's not just recovery from drugs and alcohol. We're also referring recovery from any type of trauma and or those maladaptive coping me mechanisms that might have ensued. So the first recovery tip is very near and dear to me and has helped me a lot throughout my life in many capacities, and that is exercise. Exercise produces endorphins, which is actually nature's best painkiller. It also enhances sleep, which reduces stress. It is one of the best ways to combat anxiety and depression that we know of um, at your fingertips. So if weather's permitting, the easiest thing to do, I know all the gyms are closed, so get outside and go for a walk. Um, do some lunges with your own body weight, some push-ups. If weather's not permitting, um, or if your hiking trails are closed and there's not a way to get outside, go online. YouTube offers thousands of free exercise videos at your fingertips. If you have never exercised before, I would want you to consider yoga as a good place to start. Just some gentle stretching and commit yourself to at least 15 to 20 minutes a day. And then as time goes on, just work your way up. Um, if you sit at a desk and you're still working, the best thing to do is get up at least every half hour and just move your body around your office. If you get creative, there are ways to keep yourself moving and keep yourself healthy because a healthy body definitely equals a healthy mind. So, and please come back every week. We will offer a new tip and we look forward to seeing you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.